Hey everyone, it's Drew again. Um, I have two mini albums that I want to show you today, and these are both up on my eBay store, and my eBay store's link is in the description, so if you would like to place a bid on one of these items, please do so. Um, they have about a day and a half and two and a half days left on them. So this is the first one. Its title is Fall. I'm going to kind of zoom in so you guys can see it. Okay. So the cover has one of my handmade spiral flowers. Um, a Prima flower underneath, uh, a couple layered Prima flowers, some Prima leaves, and it says Play and Dream in the Tim Holtz Dosh tickets. Um, some really nice fiber that I tied into a bow, some burlap, which I frayed and added onto the front, and then I added some stickers that say Fall. Um, I added a Tim Holtz um, chip finding, whatever these are called, you know, so you can put your picture on the front. And then I added a heavy-duty bindy ring with um, some tool, ribbons, and lots of fun, neat things on there. And the album is actually kind of like a sideways album. So when you want to open it, you're going to turn it and flip it this way. All right. And the first page has a basic photo mat, and I stitched along the edge of the photo mat. And I'm wondering if this light is... I don't know. I don't think that's better, but... Okay, well, anyways, uh, this page has some um, ribbon on it, um, a Prima flower and bling, and it's all covered with the Indian Summer Collection by Basic Gray, and it's in the shape of a scallop circle, if you haven't already um, tell, told. And there's a Wish Adosh ticket with some homemade punched lace and two glimmer misted tags that have been stitched around the edges. And the next page has a very simple photo mat with some lace and a flower. That one's very simple with a punched flower right here. Uh, this one has another photo mat with uh, pictures can slip under all the ribbon. And then we have a um, punched or a foil embossed frame. And the papers are so pretty, aren't they? And the next one says good times right here. And you put a photo or some journaling here. And then I have a handmade satin rose with some satin ribbon, which I just stitched to make a ruffle. Um, and then I have on this page two big huge leaves and I added on some bling for texture and then I have a pull out tag which slips right behind those leaves. So that's a very simple page. And then the next page has a pin in which I stuck through the thing and you could just you could pin whatever you want on the page and it has a little flower pin and I got that from Megan from Imad Martha. Thank you Megan. And some ribbon and a Prima flower with a uh, stitching across it. Again, on this page, it's just a very simple, this is the last page. You could add a photo into this tiny little frame if you wanted to. This is just basically like a garden style page and it's really glittery. And the last page is just blank. So you guys can go check this one out. I have that one's the, f the first one. And then the second one that I have is this one. And this is my high school album. Um, it's using um, K and Company's high school stack, and basically it is 9 through 12 high school year, and it's all stitched and everything, and it's on a ledger, which is really nice. And I have three Prima flowers, a clip that you could clip something on, and another Tim Holtz charm. I have ribbons and fibers attached onto the binding ring, and this is a scalloped tag. Um, the next page has a pull-out tag, which slips behind these stars and then just a very simple ribbon. Okay, now all of the paper, as you can see, the first one has this red paper on it, and it says freshman across the whole thing. And it's going to go freshman, um, sophomore, junior, senior, and those are all the papers. And then this one just has a photo mat, and a spot to slip something in. Uh, this one has a journaling spot here and a photo mat with a flower. Uh, this one has a sophomore paper in the background, um, and it has a pull-out journaling spot and a binder clip. Um, another photoing mat with where the ribbon can slip under. And disregard these tags right now. They go in somewhere. Um, two tags slip under this ribbon kind of latching I made. And a Prima flower. And on this page has the junior paper. And I added some buttons and another one. And your pictures can slip underneath there again. And on the next page, it says high school years, and then these three Adosh tickets slipped into this pocket, but they fell out. So three simple little Adosh tickets slipped into this pocket. And then it says a door up here, and there's another pull-out mat, if I can get it out. 
or another pull-out journaling spot and, I guess, photo mat if you wanted to have another one. Okay, come on. Okay, there we go. Another one, and that's a graph paper. This is a door, and the very last page has a graduation paper, so you could put a graduation picture, and it has a prima flower down here and some ribbon, and that is that scalloped tag book. So if you would like to get any of these two albums, then please head over to my um, eBay store, and the link is in the description. Uh, thanks for watching, guys, and I hope you enjoyed this video, and have a great day. Bye.